Hi guys, um, I am starting a new cup project today. I'm going to do a mug. And obviously I'm going to start with red and it's going to be red glitter. So I based it red and I have my It's Pretty Personal Pure Red Basics. So I have a thin coat of epoxy on here already. That's what I'm going to use for the glue for my glitter. So I'm just going to get a nice even coat on here. Handle and all. Make sure you turn it around and get the handle completely. So I have a plan for this, but I may change my plan for this. Um, I'm planning on doing like a hot cocoa tumbler peekaboo style with the glitter, but I may change my mind and find a different decal. I haven't decided yet. So we'll see. I'm just going to go over it one more time. Just to be sure. All right, tap it off. And I'm going to set this aside to dry. I'm not going to let it dry on a turner. It's not necessary because of the epoxy method. It'll dry fine like that. And then I'm going to put a flood coat on it just to smooth it out. And after the flood coat's on it, I'll be back for the next step. Okay, so for this one, I am... It's got to be humid in my room today because all of a sudden I'm leaving prints and marks and crap everywhere. But... So I'm going to put my decal on this side. Um, this is going to be a peekaboo though. So I'm going to kind of eyeball where my decal is going to go. Um, I printed this one. I decided I didn't want the standard Coco images. Um, this one came from Creative Fabrica. I will link it down below. I just thought the snail man was cute. So, I'm going to move that up a little bit. I'm going to mark and mark and mark and mark. That way I know where to avoid. So, for my peekaboo, I decided I wanted to do leaves and, or, yeah, leaves, trees and snowmen, since that's the theme of this decal. So... That is what I'm going to do. I'm not going to worry about getting too close to the top because um, I'm going to have a drip on this. I don't, yeah, I'm going to do a drip on this. Because I'm a glutton for punishment. So I'm just going to kind of do these while I'm holding. Yeah, don't go too close to the top because you're going to put a drip on it, but go to the top. I'm going to hold it in place just a second. So I don't go crazy out of bounds. It's a little uh, bump in the head today or something because she keeps going where she said she wasn't going to go. Alright, so I'm going to set that to the side because now I know where my boundary lines are. And I'm going to put one of each on the bottom. Let me actually, let me actually overlap them just a tiny bit. 
that'd be cute. same with the biggest two right here towards the center so in my head and I don't know how this is gonna work these two tiniest ones I caught I was gonna sit on the handle because why not I don't have to use all of these. There's no rules. Okay, so I think that's enough. I'm going to get this outside and get it spray painted white. And then I will be back to pull the peak boost. Okay, so this is painted and it is time to remove the uh, bits. So I'm just going to use my pin pen and hopefully get underneath them. From the bottoms of the trees. Oh, the trees are gonna be so fun to pull. I'm gonna start with a snowman. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm gonna switch tools and use my tweezers. I'm pretty sure I used removable vinyl, but um, as hard as this is, I might not have. Because <laughs> normally my removable vinyl comes off way easier than that. scratched my white paint all right so those are also too fine so I'm gonna grab I may have to grab like a hook tool something that's not quite as sharp for this one because yeah I'm thinking I either left it on too long which is probably actually most likely the case because by the time I got the vinyl on it was pitch black out and there was no way I was going to go spray paint this cup. Um, so yeah, this was either not removable vinyl or on too long because it is leaving residue behind. So why not? I could have sworn I used removable, but so I am not going to make you watch this entire process because it is going to be way more tedious than is necessary. I should have held off on decaling it until I was ready to spray paint, but. In my defense, it was light out when I started. I'm not used to be getting dark so early quite yet. I 
trying to get one off the handle so you could see that. But it's going to be so cute. It's sticking to the paper because of where the residue is. I'm not actually that concerned about the residue, but um, I'm going to work my way around and get all of these off, including the bottom. And then I will come back in to put the water slide on. Okay, I'm going to get the water slide on. Hopefully it'll lay flat enough on here. We'll see. This cup is frustrating me, clearly. So, I'm going to um, get it damp. The sticky spots are sticking to my paper. And wait for the water slide to release. Not quite ready yet. It's getting like dirty spots, it's got some glitter spots, because something I touched, touched the red glitter, but I'm honestly not going to be that concerned about it because it's going to get some of the cheap put on top as well, and then it's going to get a drip, so I'll make sure like a drip runs down there and you know, we'll see. Oh yeah, she's ready. So I'm gonna get it on here. I don't want it too low, but I don't want it too high either because it is gonna get drips. So I'm going to see if I can get it straight here, or semi-straight, without cracking it too much. Slide it up a little bit more. I do have these little tabs that I could cut off if I have to and kind of relocate them, but I think I'm going to be okay in this position. So that is fantastic. All right. So I'm going to let this dry on here. Then I'm going to get a coat of the resin with the cheat in it on. And then I'll come back in and do the drip after that part is done. So you'll see it again at that point. Okay, so I'm going to get a coat on this one. Um, I'm going to mix some glitter in to try and smooth out some of the mess. Just trying to find a small stick. I already have my epoxy mixed. So I'm going to put my touch of rose in here. Oh, I opened it to the pour side. Whoops. Scoop a little bit of that back off the top. That was a bit more than I wanted. So. I thought about putting a tiny bit of the red in since I have a tiny bit of red um, scattered about anyways. I'm gonna make sure I open this to the sprinkle side. So just a tiny bit. There we go. And I'm just going to get that on there. Love it. Okay. Happy with my choice. <laughs> I 
I had thought about going through and like geoding some of this, but I didn't want that style, but I wanted a little bit more color, so this was a good compromise. So I'm going to get some of this spread and then I'm going to focus on the handle. And I am still planning to drip this one if I decide I have the patience for another drip later. Dripping it was the intention, so I still have that spot showing through. I did recoat it with paint, but it popped right back, so unfortunately I think it's gonna be here to stay at this point. So I'm gonna get my handle this time around. And I really have more than enough resin on here, so I'm just gonna kind of use some of that to come around the handle. Try and get all the nooks and crannies. That's annoying. But it's really not much I can do about it at this point. So um, that's going to be it. Once this is dry, I will come back and do the drip. And hopefully that'll go well. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, so hopefully I can keep track of what I'm doing. I'm getting ready to do the drip on this cup. Um, I'm going to, I think, do two layers. So I'm going to split my resin in half or alternate colors, not necessarily two layers. Um, but I think I'm going to do some brown like it's cocoa and then some brown or some white like it's whipped cream. So I'm just going to squeeze a little brown in here. And this is just one of those cheap micas from Amazon in those 50 packs. They're all labeled differently, but they basically have the same colors. So. This one's just a brown. I think it was the darkest brown in the package without going to like bronze. So that's going to be my brown. And I'm going to use my Frosty Pearl for the white. And I got a stick. I don't think I'm going to add any. Um, dye to it this time to the white. I think I'm just going to let it be mica. I'm going to see how white it gets as I mix the mica in. I may have to add just a tiny bit. Hmm. It's not bad. I might just leave it. I think that'll do. So I'm going to let these sit and thicken up a bit. Um, hopefully not too much. Hopefully I can keep track of what I'm doing. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm going to use, I don't have any like peppermint swirl sprinkles or anything. I have lots of little candy canes and um, I don't know different colored candy canes here. There's also like some Santa heads, the snowflakes. I kind of like the holly leaves. So I'm going to figure out what I want to use. I don't think I'm going to use any of the red other than candy canes though because I think it'll end up clashing. So We'll see when the time comes. If I'd been planning to do a lot of the cocoa drip ones, I probably would have ordered peppermint ones specifically but these I just happened to get in a sub box so that's the only reason I even have them to begin with so I'm gonna work with some of those and I'm gonna check on this every five to ten minutes and hopefully catch it when it's 
workable. So, I'll be back. Okay, the brown is starting to set up on me, so it is ready and hopefully not over ready. My white might already be too set up. We'll see in a minute here. So I am just going to pour right around my edge. And I did just strip a little bit where I don't want to, but I will clean that up in just a second. You can see how thick this got, how fast. So, I'm going to grab a wipe and clean that up. Hopefully, I may have to sand some of it off. and get some of it cleaned off. Alright, I'll grab a little bit of a sanding paper in a minute and take care of that. This is what happens when I use the liquidy split for this. It goes from not quite to bam. I may have to mix up more white because my white has fully set, which is fine. Because I do want this to be thicker on this one. So, I only got like one drip, drip. So I'm going to go ahead and mix up a little bit more and try and catch it a tiny bit quicker. Okay, so I remixed my white and this time I did put some of the resin dye in it because I felt like it was just a little too thin. And you can see that the brown did flatten out some. I'm sure you guys were panicking, thinking it was going to stay that lumpy. So I'm going to start putting my white on. Try not to dip my cup down too far to start. I'm going to let it drip down. I just want to get all the way around first a little more strategically um, I took a little bit of alcohol just regular isopropyl alcohol on a baby wipe and got that um, drip off that way and actually worked pretty well so I was happy about that. There's still a slight stain that I'm going to sand off, but not nearly what I was expecting. So, and I just did it again. But this time it's a little more fluid, so it should wipe right off. So I'm going to let my cup sit for a minute, let it start to drip. I'm 
Okay, so it is starting to drip a little bit. I was kind of hoping that more of the brown would show in spots. So I might, it's already getting too thick to do that. Okay. So I do have some of the brown showing. Um, and if you get the idea of what I was going for, hopefully. Um, I'm going to hit that with a torch real quick. Just to get any bubbles out and smooth that back over. So I did pull some gingerbread men and some candy canes. And this really should be thick enough because it's really not running. Um, to hold them in place. I'm going to do some bigger gingerbread men and some smaller ones. I'm just going to sink them right in to this white. Anticipate anything moving too awfully much at this point on this one. It should be pretty well fixed at this point. more candy canes maybe. Put this last big ginger guy down here. I have one more candy cane. I'm gonna put it down on this handle drip. So, that is going to be it for this one. Um, I'm going to buff that little spot back off. And then this will get one clear coat right over the top. But, other than that, that is it for this one. It's not perfect, but I had really no intentions on doing these in the first place. So, I'll take it. going to show you now. I'm not going to come back in and do the final coat for you. I don't think it's necessary. See how fast this thickens up? This is kind of the consistency I wanted for my um, truck one that got a little thinner than I wanted, but I can only do like one half at a time, and yeah. But you can see it's really not moving anymore. None of the candy pieces are sliding around. So, we're just going to call this one done. 
Um, thank you so much for watching. If you do a million of these drip cups, God bless you. Not my cup of tea, but I'll do one once in a while. So, um, that is it for me. I am going to grab a baby wipe and clean up this little bit right here. So, that's it for this one. I will see you in the next video. Bye.